In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit with you all. Good morning, children. Children, today we celebrate the feast of St. Matthias, one of the first apostles. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries by first calling to mind our sins and asking the Lord for pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant us through his intercession that, rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, and God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. One night, when Paul was in Corinth, the Lord said to him in a vision, Do not be afraid. Go on speaking, and do not be silent, for I am with you. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, my brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his encampment become desolate and may no one dwell in it, and may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time, the Lord Jesus, Christ, the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed two, Joseph, called Barsabbas, who was also known as Justice, and Matthias. Then they prayed, you, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry, from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord, the Lord will, will give, give him a seat with, with the leaders, leaders of, of his people. people. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat 
with the leaders of his people. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? Lord, the Lord yes. will give him a seat with the leaders yes. of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor to seat them with the princes, with the princes of his own people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments, remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you, and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this. Lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, <clears throat> but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Children, raise your hand if you know what the hierarchy of the church is. Hierarchy of the church. Hierarchy of the church. Yes, Kennedy, tell me the hierarchy of the church. Excellent. Well done. The hierarchy of the church is very simple. It is the priests, or excuse me, as, De as Kennedy said, first there's the deacon. The deacon. Who, who, to raise your hand if you know a deacon. Yeah, well, I hope so, because we have Deacon Frank here in the church, and Deacon Larry, he was just with us last Friday, right? And Deacon Jack. You still know Deacon Jack, though he's retired. We're blessed to have three deacons here in the church. But did you know there is a fourth deacon here in the church at St. Monica? Raise your hand if you know the fourth deacon at St. Monica. The fourth deacon. Yes. No, it's not God. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, Tim. It's me. Did you know that? I am the fourth deacon. Actually, I'm the first, but the fourth deacon at St. Monica, because you see, in 1996, I know, a long time ago, I was ordained a deacon right here at St. Monica. It happened right here, right in the sanctuary. I was 33 years old. And Archbishop Murphy ordained me a, a deacon. And the pastor at that time here at St. Monica was Father John Bowman. Father John Bowman. So I'm first a deacon. And once a deacon, always a deacon. I'm never not a deacon. But then six months later, I was ordained a priest. 
Raise your hand if you know a priest. Why isn't everybody's hand up? I am a priest. Yes, I know I am a priest. Took place again six months after becoming a deacon, then I became a priest. St. James Cathedral. St. James Cathedral, again by Archbishop Murphy. Now raise your hand if and only if you personally, personally know a bishop. Personally know a bishop. You might, like Bishop uh, Muggenberg's been here quite a few times, very good friend of mine. Yeah, you might have gotten to know him. I know he's uh, made connections with some families here at the parish, which is wonderful. Uh, Archbishop Achen, Archbishop Achen, who is uh, the number one bishop for us in the Northwest here in Western Washington, he's actually been here once, only once since being Archbishop. And it was a Saturday uh, last fall for confirmation. I wasn't feeling so well, so I asked if he could you know, come and do it, and he did. Very nice. Now, raise your hand if and only, think, only if you think that Pope is more important than Bishop. Well, he's not. He's not more important. Because again, in the hierarchy of the church, it stops with Bishop. So the Pope, in fact, is the, what they call uh, the first Bishop. He's the Bishop of Rome. That's his diocese. And yes, he does have extra responsibilities and additional authority, but he's not more important than any of the bishops. Any of the bishops. Now, now a deacon, for example, he can only do a few things. He can only do a few things as, as an ordained minister of the Catholic Church. So he can perform baptisms and he can witness uh, weddings and he can preach, he can proclaim the gospel, and he can preach a homily. Yeah. But when I became, like, becoming a priest, I, I have not just more responsibility, I have, I have more authority to serve the people of God. So I'm able to celebrate Mass and hear confessions, give absolution. Did you know that everybody can hear a confession? Everybody can hear a confession, but only a, a priest or a bishop can give absolution. So I can do that. I can also anoint the sick, and I do that quite often in hospitals or nursing homes, or sometimes, you know, uh, our elderly, they're at, they're at home, they can't get out of home, I go visit them, and I anoint them with the sacrament and so on. I can confirm people. Last night we had 22 uh, young people confirmed right here in the church. I can confirm people if they are becoming Catholic, but if they're already Catholic, now that's a reserved being a, a bishop. And of course, I can marry people, too. I mean, I don't marry them. They marry each other. I just officiate it. Yes, yeah, so that's what I can do. Now, a bishop, here's what a bishop can do that I can't do. Okay? So a bishop can confirm you know, anybody, okay, it, uh, well, even if they're already Catholic. He can do that. So that's we had, uh, we had Bishop uh, Elizondo here t yesterday evening. And he did that. And a bishop, you know what a bishop can also do that I just can't do? And I can't even get the authority to do it. He can make more priests. Make priests. Right? And in fact, if you get three bishops together, one by himself can't do this, but three of them together can make another bishop. Of course, from a priest. In fact, we just heard about that in our gospel today. The first time it ever happened uh, in the church. Uh, 2,000 years ago, there Jesus has already ascended into heaven, right? And we have the 11 apostles left over because Judas turned out to be bad, and he's gone. So, you know, there's a, there's a spot here, okay? Because uh, there's supposed to be 12. That's how Jesus set it up. So the, these first 11 are the first bishops of the church, and they need one more, the old Judas' spot. So they pray, and then the first bishop of bishops, Peter, says, well, here's what we're going to do. And we just heard about it. we got to find a guy who's been with us in, in the company of Jesus since Jesus was baptized in Jordan. So he's seen everything. He's heard everything. Uh, and uh, we're not even going to make the pick. 
we're going to get two guys, and then they're going to cast lots, like drawing straws. Raise your hands if you ever drew straws. Right? Drew straws. Okay. Well, Matthias got the short straw, depending on how you look at it. But Matthias, Matthias, well, you can teach each other about drawing straws. It's kind of an old person thing now. But anyway, Matthias was picked not by Peter, but picked by God. He was picked by God to take over Judas' spot. And from that moment on, these, these 12 men uh, kept uh, calling men to ordain ministry, to, to be deacons. Yes, we, uh, we hear a little bit later about how they, they ordained the first seven deacons. And then uh, priests, also known as presbyters, how uh, that's uh, something in between, a deacon and a bishop. Okay, but it was always God was making the choice. So even today, uh, I, I was ordained a, a deacon and now I'm a priest by a guy who is ordained by a bishop, by a guy who's 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 ordained by a bishop. And I could keep going on for quite a while. But all the way back to one of those first apostles, all the way back, it's called the unbroken succession. So, uh, you know, I was ordained by Archbishop Murphy, and he's ordained by, I think it was Cardinal uh, Cook, and all the way back, if you go on the records, as long as records go, but you even co keep going, it's all the way back to one of those guys, one of those first guys, maybe Thomas, maybe it was Peter, maybe it was John, but one of those first guys, all the way back, unbroken. I, I didn't become a deacon or a priest because I knocked on the door and said, I want to be a deacon or a priest, and you got to take me. That's not how it works. Uh, I'm a deacon and a priest because God chose me, called me and chose me for this. And it was the church, namely as the, the bishops, who, working with other people, got me ready, and they decided, yeah, uh, we think you are called by God. Now, God has asked you, but do you want to become a deacon or a priest? And I said, yeah, I do. So I'm a priest today, first because God chose me to be a priest, but second because I too chose to become a priest with a whole lot of help. But I actually became a deacon and I became a priest when the bishop, laid hands on me and prayed, and the Holy Spirit through the bishop then changed me from being an ordinary man to being a deacon, and then from being a deacon to a priest. Kind of like the same way we take ordinary bread and ordinary wine, and then uh, the priest will pray over, the bishop will pray over that as we're about to do right now, and ordinary bread and ordinary wine, the Holy Spirit working through the priest, working through me, changes it into the body, blood, soul, and divinity. So just a little lesson for you today on the hierarchy of the church on this feast of St. Matthias and how he came to be one of those first apostles, one of those first bishops. And uh, understand, too, that it's really very simple. Whether I'm a deacon or whether I'm a priest or if I were ever to become a bishop, uh, it's not about power. It's not about, you know, having superpowers. I do have super spiritual powers, but it's not to, you know, be, uh, be power the way people think of power. It's to serve. That we are here, we chose my God, to serve all of you. To serve all of you and help you know how much God loves you and how much God wants so much life for you. So be sure to keep us in your prayers as we do for all of you as well. Let us now rise and gather the needs of this day and present them to God the Most High.
For church leaders, may they be filled with the love of Christ as they carry the responsibilities of their offices. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those called to lead in government and civil society, may they be given the grace to act in authentic love, especially for the poor and the vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those burdened by chronic illness, may the Holy Spirit be with them and grant them the strength they need each day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here today, may the Lord help us to know our calling more deeply and be rooted ever more firmly in the love that first chose us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all the mothers in our community for whom this Mass is offered, as part of our Mother's Day Novena, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died marked with the sign of faith, may they rest in the eternal love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, will bring the needs of this day, those spoken, those in our hearts, those that are known. We ask that you grant them all through your Son, Jesus Christ, just Lord, forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias, and through them strengthen us by the power of your grace, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. <clears throat> it is truly right and just your duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace to grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be. Christ.
Let us pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts and through blessed Matthias intercession for us, graciously admit us to a share in the lot of the saints in light through Christ our Lord. Now, children, if your mom or dad should happen to ask you today, hey, did you, what did what'd you learn in school today? Did you learn something new in school today? You can say, well, I, I learned about the hierarchy of the church. Your parents would be like, like, wow. And then you can try them saying, mom or dad, do you, do you know what the hierarchy of the church is? And I'm willing to bet many of you know something that your moms or dads may have forgotten they are forgotten, but you can teach them. So tonight, be a teacher. It's a great thing. And teach them well. The hierarchy of the church is deacon, priest, and then bishop. Did you know that? And did you know that uh, the Pope, we always think of him being more important than anybody else, but he's not. He's, he's just a bishop, too, with spe- who has certain, certain jobs he has to do. So that's it. So teach, be a teacher tonight. If your mom and dad, the hierarchy of the church is what? First, and then, and then, great. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth. The Mass is ended.